Hello, this is Simon Nobbs from South Coast Studio near Hythe in Kent. I'm back in the studio to create some stone effect sample boards for a client. Today I'm going to do a dark green marble with white veining. I'm going to use some clear acrylic glaze scumble. I'm going to use some colorizers, acrylic colorizers. I've got a blue and a yellow to create the green that I need. I've got a stippling brush. I've got a feather. Some artist brushes. And a softening brush. And my um, board, sample board, has just been painted with three coats of primer and then sand it between to create a nice smooth finish. So the first step is to put the dark green mixture onto the board. I'm going to use a little bit of scumble glaze to the pot. Don't need much, just a tiny amount. A little bit of the yellow tint. Not much, so I don't want it to be too yellowy. Some of the blue tint. A little bit more of that. Also, I'm going to put in a little bit of dark brown. Just to deepen the colour slightly, not much. Okay, we mix those together. blue okay I think that works for our initial base color so we're going to put some of that on Randomly, don't want too much. Don't forget to do the edges of the board or the item of furniture, tabletop, for example. Make sure you do the edges and you carry on your design and your effect onto the edges always. Very simply at this stage. Glaze. And we're going to stipple out our stippling brush at the top. We don't have to do anything special at this stage. through just going to create a very basic veining, simple veining, nothing special at this stage. This is just the under layer of our effect. It's just to get some movement in the base layer. We take our softening brush Let's soften that. Take some of our green again. 
in. It's not crucial to get it perfect because it's going to be softened and layered. Sorry. Just take it down a little bit. It's not doesn't have to be anything special at this stage. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then soften it and we'll go over it again. Okay, we're back with our board, our green marble. Now, um, the board is now dry. I've given it a light sand over, and I'm going to go over with some more of the dark green mix and another coat, stipple it, soften it, and then I'm going to do some more of the veining effect. So we go over again.
everything to get a nice effect now. Good. And we can leave that to dry. And we can use our hairdryer to dry that off. And then we can start doing some of the veining. Start to see the effect now. Hopefully. Hopefully you can see that clearly. Okay, we're going to put our final coat of dark green mixture. Stipple it out, soften it, just bring back some of our base white veining again um, and then leave that to dry overnight and then that will be ready for doing the white veining.